In this lesson we'll configure Nginx and Apache web servers to work together. This tandem distributes resources between two servers. One, Nginx, works as a front-end and is responsible for serving the static content to visitors, such as images, pure HTML, JavaScript and other types of static files and everything else. On the other hand, Apache works as a backend and is responsible for generating dynamic content to reduce the overall load on the server. Apache does not work directly with clients. All their requests are proxied to Nginx that returns content to users. That way, Nginx keep Apache from consuming additional server resources, as Apache in that case doesn't create any child processes that consume huge amounts of RAM usually. Ok, so let's go on and configure these tandem to work together. Ok, let's assume that we start our configuration procedures with the clean system, so we have only the operating system installed, fresh and clean. First of all, let's add the Apple repository to our system, just as we did when we installed the Nginx server in previous lessons. After that, run yum update and we update all the packages that are available for our system. The whole process takes about 2, 3 or 5 minutes, depends on your system, and uh, I will cut it out for you. After that, let's go on and install the Apache, the MariaDB server and PHP. And also I want to add uh, some additional packages, which is PHP Accelerator, uh, MC and Nano. Okay, then we start Apache. And now let's quickly test the Apache installation by just visiting the public IP address of our server. We should see this test page. And it's okay. Great, now let's edit the Apache configuration file with Nano. As long as we want Apache to be the backend server, we want it to listen to the local IP address on the port which is different from port 80, that refers to HTTP traffic usually. Uh, so let's uh, change this line to local IP address 127.0.0.1 and the port to 8080. Ok, and for now we can save the file and exit it. Now let's go on and install Nginx. We run yum install Nginx. I used to run install Nginx stable, but it doesn't work in the CentOS system, so let's run yum install Nginx. Ok. After Nginx is installed, let's start it. And as you can see, uh, we had an error starting Nginx. That is because I've uh, changed the configuration file for Apache, but I didn't restart the Apache itself. So it's now working on port 80, and when we start Nginx, it, it also starts. Uh, it also tries to start itself listening uh, port 80. So let's restart Apache. Now it should be listening on port 8080. And let's start Nginx and it starts fine. Ok. Now let's go on, open Nano and edit the Nginx configuration file. What we want to change here is, first of all, we change the user to Apache just uh, to make our configuration procedures a lot shorter. The Apache works under the Apache user and user group 
and we will make the Nginx also work under this uh, user. And that usually it works uh, fine and um, saves you some time. So worker processes, you can uh, state here the number uh, you like depending on the resources of your server. We will stick with auto. Okay. Let's change the root uh, website folder to the one that Apache uses. It will serve our needs just fine. Root var 3w HTML just fine okay so then we want our uh, uh, engine server to listen to port 80 we write listen 80 default and let's command this line out then we go to um, yes let's take this root line and we will move it to another uh, location let's edit the location section of the configuration file We'll move the root line here and we also want uh, to add some configuration for proxying our for proxying the dynamic content to Apache you, you can just take these lines from the dummy configuration file that is included in the additional uh, materials of this lecture and also uh, all the configurations and commands that we run here and that we edit in this lesson will be available in the archive uh, that will be added to this uh, lesson as additional materials so just go on and download them okay so add these uh, proxy lines great what i want to do next is uh, we want to go to uh, conf.d subdirectory in engines directory and we want to create the file uh, proxy conf in this file we paste uh, some additional directives uh, for engines that state all the necessary settings for proxying the content to Apache. So you just go on, paste it, and save this file and exit it. Okay. So the next step uh, is we want to create the test website content to test our servers. So, first of all, let's create the dummy HTML file. So this is a, a test page, okay, we save it and exit and oh my god, I save it under .php. Let's rename it to index.html. Fine. And the next one will be the dummy PHP file. For a dummy PHP file, let's add here the PHP info function as always we save it and exit we also want to uh, change the access mode for the PHP file for it to become executable and now let's restart both the Apache and the Nginx fine okay so our configuration is now ready let's go and test it first of all let's go to the public IP address we can see the uh, index HTML file contents and how can we tell that it is served by engines and not Apache you can use any service you like for example this one you paste your uh, servers IP address or, or URL and you have the server 
mentioned here in Nginx. So the static content is served by Nginx at the moment. So now let's go on and run the index.php file. And as you can see, the server API says that it is being served by Apache 2.0. So our configuration is working fine. Surely you want to go on and read carefully the documentation if you want to use this uh, setup for production and maybe tune some of the uh, settings that they will be suitable for your needs. But in this lesson, I just wanted to show you how to set up the basic configuration for Nginx as a web server and a first proxy for Apache on CentOS operating system so that you can uh, take this how-to, take this tutorial, read some documentation and make your uh, production server work as you want it to.